I'm here with Sheila, and she has a sensitive tooth, so I'm going to do some tests. I'm going to tap on the tooth to see if it's sensitive, and it, it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and try some cold stimulus called endo ice. We're going to put a little endo ice on the tooth. And with endo ice, if it's sensitive, and it is, we're going to go ahead and, and start root canal. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is numb up Sheila. We're going to use lidocaine 2% here. We'll give a painless injection with a thin needle. We'll check the x-ray so we know what we're doing. We go ahead and place a clamp around the tooth that we're going to root canal and then we're going to isolate the tooth with a, a rubber barrier called a rubber dam. This isolates the tooth and keeps the area clean while we're working. Uh, keeps debris out of the mouth as well. And then we open the tooth up. Now when we do root canal we're basically removing the nerves and blood vessels inside the tooth, but the first part is very much like a routine filling, like you would normally get. So that's what we're doing here. I'm just basically opening the tooth, and that's technically it's called an access, but uh, we open it up. Once we open the tooth up, we use small files, which I'm using here, and what that does is it both measures the lengths of the tooth's roots, and it also shapes the tooth as well and removes the infection inside the tooth root. That's why she needed root canal. She has an infected tooth. So we're, we're shaping the tooth right now with our files and we're measuring up the files as well. I like to use the x-ray, which I'm using here, to give me one approximation of how long the tooth roots are, but we also uh, use a machine, which you'll see later, uh, called an apex locator to help us as well. We're measuring the tooth roots. This is the apex locator. And we're clipping it on. I'm looking at that now to see that uh, it is, in fact, the root length has been verified. My assistant, Joelle, there is recording those measurements. You need to know how long the tooth roots are before you, know, you can completely remove all the infected tissue. And as well as when you ultimately fill the root canal, you need to know how far you're going to place the filling because you can't really see underneath the jaw. So that's why you need these machines to tell us how, how far we need to go. What we're doing here again, I'm still verifying lengths. This tooth had four canals. Each canal has to be measured and that's what we're doing here. And my assistant is recording that as well. After we know the roots lengths, here what I'm doing is I'm actually shaping the inside of the tooth roots. And what I'm doing is I'm using a rotary file on a slow speed handpiece. And what that's doing is that's helping me shape the tooth roots. Here I'm irrigating the canal, keeping it clean with sodium hypochloride. That disinfects as I'm shaping the canal. Now I'm going back in with my uh, rotary file to clean and shape the root canal. Having the engine driven files helps because it increases the accuracy of the preparation inside the tooth and also it makes root canals a lot faster than they used to be. Years ago it would take three hours to do a root canal, now we can do it in 40 minutes. So the technology that we have today really makes root canal much, much easier and that's uh, a lot easier for the patient and for the dentist. But we still also use our hand files, which you see me using here, to verify the length of the root during the procedure and also to keep things clean. So we kind of use a combination of both the rotary or handpiece driven files as well as the hand files. I'm using lubricant on the files to help clean and shape the root canal there. I also put a little topical anesthetic on the file and what's good about that is that helps if there's any part of the tooth that is sensitive that actually helps numb the tooth even more than it already is so that the patient really feels no pain during the procedure. She's doing fine here. Sheila is not having any problems. Probably watching the TV up out of view here. So here again we're cleaning, uh, just cleaning everything out making sure there's no more infected tissue in the tooth. Also, after the uh, tooth is shaped, we'll let the sodium hypochloride sit inside the canal. We're, we're irrigating it now. We'll let that sit in there for about five to 10 minutes after everything is done being shaped. And what that does is that uh, allows the tooth to disinfect even further before we fill it. That get, and it also gives the patient a break as well. 
and we just we just let her sit there with the rubber barrier on and the sodium hypochloride making sure all the bacteria and all the tissue is dissolved inside the root. So then what we do is we dry the root canal space and we use something called paper points. Here I'm using paper points and I've got them standing all straight up and um, this is something that's more be more interesting for a dentist but when you see that you've shaped the canal so that all the paper points are standing straight up that gives you a good indication that the root canal inside is shaped properly so you like to see your uh, both gutta percha points which are these rubber points we're putting in now and the paper points standing straight up which indicates a very well prepared canal and that's generally a good sign. We've got them all four standing up straight and that looks good. Then what we do is we melt off the tops of the gutta percha points and then we push the rubbery filling back into the root. And What we try to do is we try to hermetically seal the tooth off with these gutta percha, these rubber points, so that bacteria can't get back into the root. So that's why we pack down the filling. After we do that, I'll use the same material, that rubber gutta percha, in a gun. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm filling the rest of the root canal system with the rubber. When you do a root canal, it's like taking the core out of an apple. And when you put the gutta percha, this rubber in, you're putting an artificial core back into the tooth. This tooth is also going to need a post, and we're going to place that in there as well. I'm actually cleaning all the excess gutta percha off now, making sure it's clean inside. And it looks good. Then we place the post in the back root, the big root. Um, I'll drill into the root canal space. I'll remove some of that rubber and I'll place a titanium post in the back root. Then I'll, and I'll cement that post in. And what that does is that helps to give the tooth strength because you've hollowed the tooth out by doing root canal. You need to build it back up. So you root canal the tooth, you place the post in, and I'm screwing the post into the, into the back root, and then I'll place a hard filling over top of that to completely build the tooth back up. And I'm putting it in now, I'm using something called Fuji 9, which is a nice material that will quickly seal the inside of the tooth and basically put a large filling in the tooth over the post. And that's what we're doing now. So we place that over top, it sets quickly. You still see there's a silver filling in there over top. So the root canal is done, the post is buried underneath that white filling that I just placed on the top that I'm smoothing off. And at that point the root canal and the post are done. Procedures that would have taken three visits ten years ago, twelve years ago, now and would have taken hours, took 40 minutes, and we'll smooth that down. This tooth will still need a crown, but at this point it will be stable for several weeks or even a month or so while everything heals up. We're going to have her bite to make sure everything's comfortable. Take the rubber barrier off first. Make sure there's nothing in the mouth. Our assistant is going to get a articulating paper or a bite paper just to make sure that when she bites down she's not tapping the filling that we put in there because then that tooth would be sensitive. You just had root canal? Yeah. Wasn't too bad, was it? Did that hurt? No, it was that was easier than some of the fillings that I put in. Super. All right, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a quick x ray okay. and uh, we're gonna go from there. So we always want to verify how the root canal looks because you can't really see everything until you're done um, uh, and once you take the x-ray you can see what it looks like underneath and uh, it looks very good. She should be okay. She's going to be sore for a couple of days. We're going to give her some pain medication. She'll need to avoid the tooth, uh, eat on the other side of her mouth and she's fine. Um, actually I just saw her the other day. This was filmed several months ago. She's fine. We had We've done the crown on her already and she's been fine and has had no symptoms since. For people afraid of root canal, this, this was live. She's okay, no problems, she did all right, and that's generally how it goes. So do not be afraid of root canal. This is not an actor, this is real, this is live.